Peter Capaldi is leaving Doctor Who. Yes, you heard me correctly. Peter Capaldi is stepping down as the 12th incarnation, well, 13th if you count the War Doctor, but he's stepping down as the Doctor in the 2017 Christmas special, which will come out um, at the end of this year, yeah, after Series 10. Now, now anybody who's watched my Q&A video, which you should have done, huh? uh, so anybody who's watched my Q&A video will know that I love Doctor Who. It is my favourite show. But you're probably wondering now, what's my reaction to this? Well, it's it's kind of weird. I don't I don't really know. First, I suppose first of all, I guess I have to kind of just say, oh, time for change. You know, the thing is, is that because you know I've never really had a favourite doctor. You know, I've I like there's it's things about every doctor that I like and things about every doctor that I dislike. And yes, there are some that I like more than I like others, but, I, but if you were to ask me who, if you were to just, if I were to be in conversation and you were to say to me, so Alex, so who is your favourite Doctor? I have to think, I'd probably sound and go, ooh, ooh, I don't know, maybe that, or possibly, or it could be. You know, I wouldn't, I would not be able to answer that question. But, you know, I do like Peter Capaldi. He's certainly up there among one of my more favourite Doctors. And I am, yeah, I am, you know, it is sad to see him go. I don't think it'll be as sad to see him. I'm not as sad to see him go, though, as I am to see Matt Smith. But I think the reason why is because Matt Smith was my first Doctor. Because, you know, because I, I, you know, I came in... I started getting interested into Doctor Who in 2010, during Series 5, when Matt Smith was the Doctor. So Matt Smith was my first Doctor, so that's probably why I was a little more disappointed when he went. But that's not to say that I'm not disappointed about Peter Capaldi leaving, because I love Peter Capaldi. I think, I think he was great in the role, and I, and I, and I for one, was certainly glad to see another older incarnation of the Doctor, you know, like, it's certainly a heart back to the old William Hartnell or John Pertwee days, you know, when the Doctor had grey hair and, and was a more older, mature kind of chap, as opposed, and, and I think, I certainly think it makes a nice change after we had both David Tennant and Matt Smith, who were both very relatively young uh, actors, just, and were playing very, very young sort of Doctors. And I certainly feel that Peter Capaldi brought a necessary change to Doctor Who, who to give it a fresh spark and to give the Doctor's character a fresh spark, and I think he's done a superb job. And you know, I have to congratulate um, Mr. Capaldi on uh, on you know on being able to win over the um, the audience, the audiences. Because you know, I once went to Armageddon Expo and I saw Colin Baker. And um, who was the sixth Doctor and John Leeson? I think it was. I, I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting the name. Um, guy, uh, basically, the guy who does the voice of K9. They were doing a Q and A um, at the Armageddon Expo in Wellington, and um, Colin Baker very fun, very comedically said that David Tennant and Matt Smith existed purely to get teenage girls into watching television. <laughs> I thought that was quite funny. And I certainly think that there was something that, there was definitely uh, something that they had that certainly got people interested. And I think a lot of people were very weary when Peter Capaldi came in because, you know, you know this was the first time in the, in the modern era of Doctor Who that we'd had a much older actor playing the Doctor. And I really feel that Peter Capaldi certainly slipped into the role really, really well, in fact, perfectly, in fact, and I think he's been an amazing doctor, you know. I've I, I, I certainly really like Peter Capaldi, and, and he's had some amazing scenes, you know, like like that, um, like in series, especially in series nine, like when he uh, when he was ranting against the Zygons, or or episodes like Heaven Sent, where it was just pretty much the whole episode was just him on his own. He was brilliant in that episode, and. 
you know, his acting in the role as a doctor has been absolutely perfect pretty much the whole way throughout and I've, I've been really, really pleased. But, you know, all good things have to come to an end at some point, you know. I would say the only thing I'm really disappointed about is that he's chosen to go now and there's a reason why. It's because both David Tennant and Matt Smith did three series over the course of about four years. I mean, yes, David Tennant did the specials, but it was still three series. He did series two, three, and four over the course of about four years. And then Matt Smith did series five, six, and seven over the course of about four years. And now Peter Capaldi has done series eight, nine, and ten over the course of four years. And it's starting to become a little bit repetitive. But in saying that, hopefully maybe the next actor will either will either um, do slightly less than that or do slightly more than that. But we'll see. I can't say which one I'm hoping. I can't say whether I'm hoping it's more or less. It depends on whether or not I like the next doctor. Now the other. Now I'm going to address this in this video because otherwise I'm going to get loads of people in the comments saying saying. Um, 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 so who do you think should play the next Doctor? I don't really know. As I don't know my actor. Or I personally am against the idea of a female Doctor. Not because I'm a sexist or anything like that. But I think the reason why is because I think if you make the Doctor a female, simply no one would watch the show anymore. Because, you know, I think that making the Master a female with Missy and showing that regeneration from a man to woman in Hellbent really should have been enough to close the lid on this whole on this whole gender change regeneration thing. The only I just think the thing that the Doctor Who is kind of cemented now around the idea that the Doctor is a man and the Doctor has always been a man and that's just the way that it's been and I think that I just think that making the Doctor a woman would would not sit well with a lot of viewers and that I just, you know, I'm not saying that a woman couldn't play the Doctor. A woman could easily play the Doctor, because doctor, at the end of the day, acting is acting. But I just don't think it would sit down very well very well with viewership because I think if they did that, then the, ra then the viewership ship and ratings would go... And basically the views would just plummet. But, you know, so so just to clear the air on that now, I'm not saying that a woman can't play the Doctor. And, you know, and if and if they do decide to do that and cast a woman as a Doctor, then I would welcome them into the role as I would welcome anyone into the role. I'm just saying that I'm not sure it would work because, uh, just because I don't think the, the show would survive if they did because I think too many people would stop watching it. <laughs> But I could be wrong, we'll see. But I haven't really thought about it, tip really, because at the end of the day you can't really say who would make a good doctor because every doctor's got different personalities. So my answer really to the question who who should be the next doctor is really I don't know. You know? It's a case of I can't really sit here and say who I think should play the doctor. Doctor. I don't you know, it's it's not something that I can really say, you know, because every Doctor is different, you know. I think anybody can play the Doctor, and that's, I think that's the brilliant thing about the Doctor, is because every incarnation is different, there's different personalities and everything, anyone can do it, you know. You know, you've got to be able to, you know, because it doesn't matter what sort of personality he traits the actors like to play, in the roles that they take, because they can do that with the Doctor, you know. But I'm not an expert on these things, you know, so... But, yeah, so that's all I really have to say on it, really. You know, you know, Capaldi, great actor, brilliant Doctor, and I'll, I'll miss him in the role, definitely. I, I'll miss Peter Capaldi, but at the same time, it'll be nice to have to have a fresh person in the TARDIS, regardless of what of what colour or gender they may be. Just as long as we don't have an American as a doctor. That'd be dreadful.
Yeah.